help, Lord God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, when people are losing their minds, God, hallelujah, we thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. People committed suicide, God. We thank you for our life, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, with people giving up hope, God, we thank you, Father God. You're our hope, oh God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. God, we thank you right now, God. In the name of Jesus, you are a faithful God, hallelujah. You are faithful, hallelujah. In 2020, God, you kept us the whole year, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. And now this month is already halfway gone, God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. But we haven't dropped out, Lord God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Because we know who we... We know who we belong to. Hallelujah. We know who we serve, oh God. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you right now, Lord God. You know we're human, God. We have issues, Father God. Hallelujah. But we have not let those issues, God, stop us from coming in here, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Sometimes if we just in here in our body and our mind might be a little off, God. You bring a word, Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. God. God, you bring it back to our remembrance, hallelujah, how you did it before, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. God, you bring it to our remembrance, hallelujah. I gave you peace before, ask me for what you need, hallelujah. He told us to ask him for what we need, hallelujah. If we need peace, we can get it, hallelujah. He is our defense, we, hallelujah, we need peace finances hallelujah he said money is a defense hallelujah but he provides it hallelujah in the name of jesus hallelujah oh he said if we lose if you need hope hallelujah ask for it hallelujah in the name of jesus hallelujah but while we asking hallelujah we got to believe that he's doing it in the name of jesus god we thank you right now lord god we are blessed to be in your house, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God, we thank you, Lord God. The more we come, hallelujah, we get knowledge, Father God, in the name of Jesus. You bless the woman of God to give us more knowledge on Wednesday, Lord. Hallelujah. On Tuesday, Lord God. Hallelujah. We learned about, hallelujah, the cast, God. Hallelujah. How some are outcasts, Lord God. All these different things, Lord God. Hallelujah. But God, we thank you, Lord, that you put us in a place, God, where we can get this help, Lord God, where we can get this information. Lord God, hallelujah, so we can go out into the world and not be defenseless, Father God, hallelujah, when we go around people that think like what Pastor Linda was talking about, we won't be defenseless, Father God, hallelujah, Lord, we praise you right now, hallelujah, we got a new view about our finances, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, as bad as it look, hallelujah, if you think it looks bad, hallelujah, God can change it in, hallelujah, right now while you standing here, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, I know he does supernatural debt cancellation, he's done it for me, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, he wiped it away, hallelujah, I know it, be, hallelujah, I know he can do it, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, whatever it is that we need, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, our Father cares about us, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, he cares about us, hallelujah. Forget hallelujah. We can't forget COVID, but don't think hallelujah. The government is our answer, hallelujah. Oh, in the name of Jesus, they are not the answer, hallelujah. But God is the answer, hallelujah. You sit quiet, hallelujah, sometime and ask him, hallelujah, what is it, God? Hallelujah. Lord, what do I need to do, God? Where do I need to go, God? Do I need to stand still, God? Hallelujah. Do I need to pursue that thing? Do I need to leave that person alone, Lord God? Is that person talking too much in my ear, God? Do I need to cut them 
off, God. What do I need to do? Hallelujah. God, we praise you right now, Lord. Hallelujah. You are not doing more than one thing. You're not doing just one thing at a time. You have been Pastor Linda. Hallelujah. Right now, it's already worked out for Davion and Bree. Hallelujah. Right now, hallelujah, you already know who James and Joshua's wife will be. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God, we praise you right now, Lord. Hallelujah. We already know, Lord, you, hallelujah, have been taken care of, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, you know where Nandi's going to be, hallelujah, in 2021, hallelujah. You know, hallelujah, where Kobe's going to accomplish, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. God, we praise you right now, Lord God, hallelujah. You know where Grace Apostolic is going to be, well, hallelujah, where this church is going to go, Lord God, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. We're not the only one that get the word, but I know we get the word right here, hallelujah. We get a word that picks our mind up off the ground, hallelujah. We get a word, hallelujah, that puts our heart back together, hallelujah. We get a word, hallelujah, that renews our hope, hallelujah. We get a word, hallelujah, where we've been taught, pushed down, hallelujah, by family, by anybody, hallelujah, who think we can't de- don't deserve to do better. We get a word here, hallelujah. That's why we've been traveling, hallelujah, due to circumstances, not this year, but that's why we've been traveling, hallelujah. That's why, hallelujah, the man of God pushed us out there. He put us out there and said, don't get, don't get lost, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We praise you right now, Lord, hallelujah. I know I would have never got on a plane. I would have never went to another country, hallelujah. Well, I didn't know anybody, hallelujah, but God did that for me, hallelujah. God did that for me, hallelujah. He did it for me. He did it for me, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. And we all ain't in the same place. We all got different steps, hallelujah. I'm in a different step right now, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to stay right here till God say hallelujah, till God get me where I need to be. I got some adjustments to make. Sister Barlo reminded us, hallelujah, but we can do it, hallelujah. We just got to stay right here. Stop listening to the wrong people, hallelujah. Listen to what we get over the pulpit. Listen to the word. Listen to God. Father, we give you the praise this morning, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. It's not enough to say I, I love you. It's not enough to say I care. It's not enough to say I, I love you, Lord, in every way, the only way you know is how I live. It's not enough to say thank you for all the times you've brought me through. It's not enough to say I, I love you, Lord, in every way. The only way you know is how I live. And though I may tell you a million times, that Lord, I love you. Speak a word that sounds so fine. You know if I really do, cause it's not enough to say I, I love you, Lord, in every way. The only way you know is how I, I live.
<coughs> so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. I am the head. I am not the tail. I am above only. I am not beneath. I am increase. I am prosperity. I am abundance. I am favor. I am a homeowner. I am not a renter. I am singing. I am dancing. I am health. I am well. I'm a blessing to the kingdom. I'm a blessing to the nations. And I'm a blessing to the world. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. She's yes, still sir. doing what she's doing. All right. All right. Amen. Psalm 129. Matter of fact, you can put your car keys in your lap. Amen. I'm celebrating. Uh, I want to thank everyone for all the birthday wishes. Still can't wrap my mind being around for six decades plus five years. I can't. No, no, really. I can't. I know it's a number, but I can't wrap my mind around it. Uh, thank you for the monetary gifts, the gifts. But somebody did something that blew me away. Okay? Blew me away. Uh, I must have passed my wife. She's supposed to be. She left before me, but can I make my usher confession? Man, a Bentley went to 110 so quick. Oops. No, I know, no. Don't ever. Ooh, that thing fast. God, I looked up out of that one. I was like, ooh, let me slow down. So I slowed down to 90. I knew I had to pass you. She left a good five minutes ahead of me. That's my confession. Amen. Hey, hey. Um, but so I'm glad you're here because she set this up. So, you know, um, you know, Chicago is not Paris. And I'm so glad I didn't buy a place there, Daryl, because it is shut down to the point I had to eat outside, but they have the heat lamps. The only place you could sit down and eat on the avenue was Ralph Lauren. Wow. So, you know, those hamburgers with, with tip was like $40. Jeez. You know, uh, some of you are like, what? Uh, but no, shut down. All the places me and Brian used to go to, you go down in the water tower, we used to get there mighty nice, boarded up. They're not going to make it. Macy's gone. Gap been there 20 years gone. Brooks Brothers gone. And those are flagship stores. So the avenue's going to be dead for a long time. But you know what? I'm about Bacarta Bakim. I'm going to yeah. make it. I'm going to make it. Yes, you are. Make it yes, whatever what? I'm going to make Yes, you are. Come on uh, now. I had a chance to catch up with Hene and my uh, daughter, Diana, who persevered. I told you they wiped out Gucci during the riots, but her oh, store was never it. touched. All right! And, uh, not only was it not touched, one time she was there about to close up, and uh, she said she heard a voice say, turn the lights out. She looked around like, what in the world? She said, turn the lights out. So she turned the lights out in her store, and surely not too soon after, here comes some, some looters they're oh not protesters, looters, looters, and they yep. never touched her store. Thank you, Jesus. Because their lights were out. Come on, Bishop. Uh, the, uh, I guess, because I've been watching y'all, I love watching y'all play with Stocks and Davion and Terrell and 
So really, the time to buy a place there would be now. Uh -huh. Those prices are dropping. Uh -huh. uh, one place a doctor in New York owns, and she just wants out of there because nobody ever thought that the looters would come down Michigan Avenue. Uh -huh. Michigan Avenue, before this, is one of the safest places in the world and unparalleled when it comes to stores. So, so Diana said, you know, with no people not coming down there and, you know, the one rapper got shot, killed a block over, something duck. You know how they be making up names, watching cartoons. Right. Uh, he got killed. Uh, he want to be a, a, a gangster uh, at night, but a shopper in the afternoon. Hmm. Well, they killed him right there in front of Dolce Gabbana. Oh so, you God. know, wealthy people like, we ain't got to put over this because that's their like second, third home. So anyway, she said that, so her business, you know, like, and she has invoices and whatever. She said she was down to, you know, if I don't have no traffic, how can I pay these invoices? She said, this is for somebody who's out there right now by faith. My real estate agents, people that are going, trusting God. Yes. She said yes. one client, it's near the end of the month, she ain't made no money. One client came in, called her. And said, are you open? Yeah, come in there. I need to buy this stuff for this wedding. One client <laughs> spent $13,000 in Ooh. one day and paid all her invoices. Look at that. <laughs> one client. Yes, Lord. I said, Diana. Yes, Lord. Diana. That's manna. Yeah, it is. That's God putting his signature on, on you. On you, yeah. Huh? Huh? You can't have. So then here, here come ministry. Diane is a beautiful girl. Filipino, about 5'10", just towering over. With heels, she's about 6'2". <laughs> I said, Diana, you can't sell custom clothes. These are all custom clothes. And have an off-the-rack lifestyle. Well, okay, now. Come and on. Then I hit her with, it's easy to get a food between your legs. Yes. And she about started to cry. She, just, she just said, you know, some man came through here. You're going to take advantage of the fact, no client. I know you need money for your store. I could basically, you know, write a check and whatever if you would just let me. Mm -mm. She said, no, when I didn't have no money, I didn't want nobody coming in here. Amen. And just going to take advantage. But I came by. To put a signature, not my signature, God's, God's signature. signature yes, huh? If God can send one client to spend thirteen thousand dollars, He can send a man of God. Don't, that's, don't. That's right. Don't sell custom clothes with an off the rack lifestyle. She' about to cry. Okay. So you know, I made the best of it. You know, I can. You know, if it's for sale, I can find it. For sale, I can find it. You know, <laughs> stupid shoes, 75% off. My size, only one left. You already know they're at the house. Right. <laughs> so I come home, you know, I'm like, man, this ain't Paris. Whew. But, hey. So here come my wife. The one y'all think so sweet. <laughs> so I'm watching the game. You understand? The, the, the NFL championship game. Mm -hmm. uh, could you uh, uh, come to my trunk? Uh, I, need, I need you to help me get some out. The trunk of my car. Okay, wait a minute. It's about halftime. <laughs> come on. here. I said, it's about halftime. Come on. Well, first commercial come. She come back. And they got the nerve to mask up because I ain't been home. <laughs> I don't blame her. I don't blame her. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You're looking at that. <laughs> <laughs> don't come in my office with a mask. <laughs> I don't blame her. Ain't seen a mortgage payment. My girl, my girl. Ain't seen one. Ain't seen a utility bill. But gonna come in my office with a mask. <laughs> I said, shoot, you be the one in the detached garage. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, hold up, hold up. Just, just, all right, wait, wait, wait. come, can you get this thing out of my trunk? I said, you know what? I was, you know, y'all, these old junk mails. I'm tearing stuff. I said, I'm making one trip to the end of the house. So I still tearing stuff up. Lining stuff up. Finally get there. Oh, now you like me. You Now you make all your stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I got to get back for the third quarter. We get to the trunk of her car. He looks up. There's this big box. Huh? Here's what it said. 
Special birthday blessings, Bishop. Words can't express what you mean to me and my family, Bishop. I knew you couldn't go to Paris this year, so I brought Paris to you. Oh. It expresses how I feel loud enough. All right, now what's in here? Yo, check. So I'm peeling it out. May leave that Creighton <laughs> degree. <laughs> I'm peeling it out. And then, this is box, and then it's a garment in there. Mm -hmm. Here it is, folks. Go ahead, Bishop. That's the bomb. <laughs> Y'all don't even know what y'all looking at. <laughs> My mouth went open. He told my wife, I have never spent this much money on myself. Come know what on. that reminded me of? Uh -huh. When I blessed Bishop That's Wagner, right. that was the most expensive That's car right. I had ever purchased at that time. I should have known something when I left on that Sunday and I passed Daydrion. And I gave Daydrion a coat that just, I knew he could wear it. I don't know what that fool got. I think it's like $900 on sale. Anyway, it's a fool. So he like, Bishop, look at, look at how I'm wearing your coat. No, it's your coat now. <laughs> you reap what you sow. Yes, sir. How, KT. Hey, Brian, Y-O-O-X. <laughs> Found it. Went to go get it. Had her checking all my jackets, seeing the right side. It disappeared. Then it showed back up again. Oh, my God. The last one. He brought Paris to me, oh, folks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, he has a great imagination. So the cartoon that he put on Facebook with the prince hair, I don't know where the hair come from. Man, I need KT, amen, to follow me around the world, boy. He got an imagination. The one I love to show, Sonia and Lana, is the one where he got me cut like I've been to the penitentiary. He said, I wanted to do this. All right. Amen. Amen. Now, uh, I'm used to doing this for folks. I ain't used to receiving it. That's right. But that man, huh? He brought Paris to me. Yes, he did. That's so bad. Man. <laughs> and, you know, he even took a chance because, you know, I don't make no excuses how I am. You know what I'm saying? I was talking to my daughter about that. You know, folk can do the suffering. They, they, they can get with you when you're suffering. And, mm -hmm. But when you're on the come up. Okay. okay. Or you up. Right. And my daughter just told me. He said, you know, God ain't finished. Right. Where, where, where my Kojic buyer tell him? Uh, I'd already bought something to go with this. Now, y'all just wait till it show up. Amen. I don't make no matter of fact, somebody told me somebody quit coming to church because of something I bought last year. Good. They can take another year off. I ain't stopping. I ain't stopping. And, and, and you know what? I ain't mad at them. They come from a poor mouth family who do more talking than they do living. Uh-oh. I ain't mad at them. Stay right where you are. I don't okay. want you back. Okay. Because uh, we got folk building homes. Yes, we got are. people getting things done, starting businesses. Hey, make no. Make no apologies whatsoever. But he took a chance. Huh? He took a chance and made it happen. All right? Amen. KT took a chance and did the thing. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> KT. It ain't her night. Don't worry about it. KT took a chance. And we want to thank him. Amen. Amen. He Amen. took a chance. Thank you. Go back. Go around. Tell her. It ain't your time. Go around. Take it right back to the office. It ain't your day. Go back around. Come on, KT. You did it. Come on. From his heart. 
from his heart. Amen. Get your Bibles out. Amen. Get your Bibles out. Amen. My wife said, don't forget the ice cream. Come on out. She <laughs> ate that. Yeah. <laughs> Psalm 129. What does that say? Many a time have they afflicted me from my youth. May Israel now say, many a time have they afflicted me Stop from. Stop right there. So David. <laughs> Anytime you hear it twice, mm -hmm. that's covenant. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, anybody can deal with a one-time affliction. Anybody. Yes, sir. One time, but not many. It's the many. Yes. <laughs> That messes folk up when God reciprocates the many times you've been afflicted with the many blessings coming your way. Come on, Bishop. Folk have no problem. Write this down with you being afflicted many times. No, they sure don't. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. It's when you stop being afflicted uh -huh. that they have a problem. So what does it tell you? It says, from my youth. Yes. Which means that the forces have been have always kept their eye on him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Always. The forces have always kept their eye on him. Right? It's hard to fathom the enemy watching you when you're a child. Here's a principle. Satan don't want nothing to grow up. To prove it, Dr. Holt, didn't he come after Jesus? Sure enough. Yes, he did. Huh? Yes, he did. Uh, what, 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 was, he, was he 5, 10, 15 years old when he came after him? No. No, no, no. When Herod he thought he was coming. He was a baby, yes. And he had some soothsayers that said, it's right about now. You know, they're trying to figure it out. Right. What does that tell you? Uh, whatever God it has in you, it's coming out. Amen. It's coming out and the gates of hell will not prevail against the That's church. Right. Amen. Some of y'all have been targeted and now you get to understand why. Huh? Because the enemy doesn't want you to grow up. He doesn't want, he's scared of what a quanta can birth in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. He's scared. Amen. If a Kobe comes out the same womb that a Tamika came out of. Come on now. Huh? Whatever enemy has targeted the whole family, all the pretty women, all of this. But I got a son going to come out and he going to revert. I have a son who's not going to treat women the way we were treated. That's right. Amen. Somebody now think about why a Jane Yale was afflicted in her youth. Why? Amen. She had to wait so long to have, to have high self-esteem. Why? Amen. It wasn't that her mother and them didn't love her. It was God said, I got something for you. Amen. And when I bless you, when I bless you on the par of how you've been afflicted, amen, you won't fly away because you remember when you were nothing. You remember when Samuel came by and they didn't even mention your name. You remember when they passed others in front of you. Who in here got that testimony? Amen. Come on, mm. come on. God said you'll be the head and not, not the, the tail. tail. But you remember being the tail. You remember being the one nobody spoke about. You remember being not cute enough, smart enough, tall enough, light enough, dark enough. Whatever they did in your family. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. But God is able. Woo. Hallelujah. To turn the afflictions of your youth yes, into Lord. blessings you can't wrap your That's mind right. around. That's right. Glory. Here it is right here. Yes. Why was I targeted? Why? Here comes Samuel. Here come all his brothers. And to prove Davion, God was right. What was his brothers when basically Goliath cussed everybody out? Right. 
Told them, y'all all geared up. Come right. on across the pond. Uh-huh. Put your foot in Carter Lake and cross over. Okay. And they all sitting there <laughs> under the tree. <laughs> saw under the tree. Uh-huh. He cussing them out. Watch this. All right, watch. make sure you ain't under no tree. He talking bad about their God. Talking bad about them. And they ain't moved. Huh? See, that'd been a grand time for the white, black, pink, purple evangelical to get up and cross that pond, right? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, write this down. Your silence speaks volumes. Yes, it does. Your silence. Yes, it does. Uh -huh. If you ever want to go to war against unrighteousness, white, pink, purple, black evangelical, it was all last week and all this week. Yes. And he said nothing. You all armored up. You all got your little bracelet on. What would Jesus do? That None of that stuff impresses me. What you going to do when somebody gets to talking loud about your God and about you and basically saying, ain't none of y'all what you say you are. Now's the time to stand up. That's do y'all right. understand even your blessing? Folk are dying. Folk, they ain't making those numbers up. But you are standing up and saying, my God, amen, will provide all my needs. My God, amen, is a, I'm not looking to die. I'm looking to live by cards. Do you know that's a stance? Yes, COVID is real, but my God is real. He's a keeper if you want to be kept. Yes, COVID is real, but God is my vaccine. Aim. We need a vaccine against sin. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> Doing COVID, folks still commit adultery. Yes. Still fornicating. Yes. Still booing up. Mm -hmm. With a killer in the air. Yes, sir. How about a vaccine against sin? That's right. Come on. Boy, that's a stock we would all invest in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Davion, we'd be rich. <laughs> if they get a vaccine against sin, think about it, huh? <laughs> if, if it costs a dollar, but there's 7.9 billion people, folk... <laughs> we'll buy Omaha. <laughs> we'll run Creighton out. Yep. <laughs> we'll make Creighton Metro. <laughs> run them out. <laughs> Amen. And run this joint. Be a be a grace apostolic dynasty. All right. <laughs> huh? When you come from Council Bluff, huh? It'd it be a sign talking about Grace Apostolic, but Carta Bacain. Yeah. Cause we are invested in the vaccine. Against sin. <laughs> He's taking a stand. His brother did all that woofing. Has so much to say. Even when he shows up. Are oh, you meddling? I don't come to meddle. I come to fight. <laughs> I ain't come to No, no, no. Huh? Some, some of y'all, amen, were fake gang members. And <laughs> well, when you went to the holding cell, you didn't get to the regular jail yet. You almost got the Holy Ghost crying out to God. <laughs> And you was in holding. You had already, amen, email. can I get to the uh, uh, God squad? <laughs> they say, you ain't even seen the judge yet. <laughs> you already, we found a chaplain, see if you could borrow a Bible. <laughs> Wait, am I right? <laughs> Wait, am I right? Wait, no. Wait, they be in there crying. I'm like, wait, you got to get filled with the Holy Ghost. Because you be like, come on, come on. That, that's it, that's it, that's it. Amen, that's it. You're a little closer now. Come on, turn that thing around. Open your eyes up and hear yourself. Amen, you need the Holy Ghost. Because some of those kids, when they finally get in trouble. Come on now. They ain't got no heater. Nobody. They ain't all that. Mm -hmm. Well, Goliath stood up. And if his brothers had a mind fight, he's, he was the cure. You ain't all that. You weren't anointed for this kind of fight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this boy that was anointed. <laughs> and I know it's talking about your little cheek Bible. It's talking about when Israel was young. Uh, but also, if you keep studying, he was called later on in his life, the light of Israel. 
Yes. Which men, the powerful men, the, the Kennys and the Bryants and the men, huh, they don't want me to keep, uh, yeah, I'm going to do this for a minute, but they don't want me to keep doing this. Amen. Right. It's our turn to do it. We have watched them do it. We have paid attention. Amen. But it's our turn. We can't afford for him, amen, to sit there and run out of energy before Ava Joy getting married. Amen. Right. So we'll take the load. Amen. He done fought 34 years going on 35. It's our turn. Amen. To be trusted around beautiful women. It's our turn. Amen. To fight temptation. It's our turn to live. Amen. Without a reproach. Yep. He's called the light of Israel. From the youth. What's that mean? It's suspect when folk want to get called because Sears turned their application. Now, you say Sears out of business. Well, now they're they grabbing a briefcase. And these churches are full of them. Yep. Huh? <laughs> it, 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 uh, I got a lot of shouts. But, and what my sons put on there on Facebook, to be your child's hero. Yes. <laughs> even folk don't even like me got on my son's page huh yeah but some of the love i got from preaching minister is because they say oh my goodness that kind of lifestyle talking like that amen but you don't understand it's because of the truth that sets people free that's what a lifestyle come. It didn't come from sugarcoating. It didn't come. You sitting here right now, you ain't booed up. Ain't nobody brought their boyfriend in here. Ain't nobody sitting here, amen, flagrantly, amen, challenging. Oh, you better believe me. And we thank God for it. All we want are some Davion and Brianna's, some amen, Brandon and Brashana's, amen, some, some Tramon and Paku, right. uh, some Davy, uh, amen, Dadrian and Lexi Poo. Some amen. We so glad Roman came back with his gorgeous wife. He better not leave her today. Amen. Huh? That's what we're looking for in this camp. Ain't nobody coming here flagrant. You can come in, but you ain't staying. That's right. Oh, we're going to deal with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Hey, man, ain't no word of God for everybody else and an asterisk for you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get ass and asterisk mixed up. <laughs> know how to spell. <laughs> Ain't no asterisk for your ass. <laughs> I just came by on my birthday trip to let you know that. Look at Grace. Grace like, oh, my God, my pastor's so hood. <laughs> Blame KT. Everybody understand youth? Amen. Everybody understand affliction? Now he takes it to another level in Hebrew. It's something. He said, they they plowed in my back. See, the 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 OJs weren't deep. All they came up with was backstabber. <laughs> uh huh. They weren't deep. They weren't deep. They smiled. From had babies face. over that song. All the OJ. OJ's whisper is, is, is why the black population grew. The whispers, OJ, the Dales. Some of y'all are like, what, what are you talking about? I know you. Uh, uh, how, how you got pregnant off trap music is another, wild, is another, <laughs> is a whole other sermon I ain't preaching. How you got pregnant? They smile huh? in your face. How you, I know back oh, that thing up, but you forgot, amen, <laughs> huh, that your brake fluid was going to get low. You back that thing up, went out the parking lot, and now you ain't got nothing left. Okay. <laughs> you should have put the brakes when you back that thing up. Uh-huh. Turn that thing around and live holy, but you didn't do it all right. Come on. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> Verse 2. Blame KT. He done hype me, y'all. May Israel now say. May Israel now say. Many a time have they afflicted me from with, my youth. With, with, man, the thing that was hindering me was energized. That's a tough revelation. Energized. If I can only get 90 out the will of God. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I'll wipe out her mother's stand. Her mother is a bad chick, y'all. Yes, yeah, she, she is. She took a stance, y'all. Woo! Bad chick. Huh? See, see, Queenie, Queenie not only took a stance for her son, her daughter, she took a stance for her son. Yes, she did. She knew that, hey, amen, what she was putting in was being fought. Huh? Yes. And I hope I never live to have Zoe or Viv or my daughter Diana or Hene speak about me and my lack of being a true father like Nandi put on Facebook. Yes. That that people. Yes, Lord. <laughs> and, and anybody hyper, we don't do that here. That was, I, I know what I seen. I seen what my mother did. Right. See, right. see, and, and you know what? I'm going to see some of y'all. I know, I know, I know. Come on. Amen. You can't call the shot the way it is. Right. Ask my family. Amen. When it comes to your family, whoever, all of a sudden you get six, seven, eight different Bibles and whatever. Uh, 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 because you are complicit. There's a word you can look up. Mm -hmm. Spell it right. Complicit. Mm -hmm. uh, but some people tell it the way it is. Come on now. Uh, look right now in politics, how Ted Cruz trying to rewrite history. No, we got you on tape, homie. Right. Talking right. about your wife ugly and everything else, right. and you're going to get mad. Are you kidding? Right. Everybody trying to rewrite history. Are you in the history book for standing up? Even now, that Jim Jordan, man, somebody going to bring up when you was a wrestling coach. These people are on, man, and they, what I don't like about it, they hide behind God. Yes. They hide, amen. Yeah. Don't let no evangelical colonize, amen. Don't let them, mm. Come on. Don't let them. Don't let them call Zimbabwe, Rhodesia. Why was it named Rhodesia? Because a Cecil Rowe colonized right the land and the women. Sure did. Don't let nobody sure. rape you in Jesus' name. Come on. Don't let nobody molest you in Jesus' yes, name. Lord. Yes, Don't Lord. let him sing no songs. Yes, he ain't an awesome God if you can't tell the truth Come in on. his name. You can't tell. Amen. Don't let nobody colonize you. Don't let nobody say nothing rape you while they silent. Ain't a mega church said nothing. If it had been Obama, he'd have been arrested on la on the six. Yes. Yes, he would have. Don't get your mind colonized. Let me help y'all while I was walking down the street in, in Chicago. God said the only position. I don't care about you disagreeing. I got my jacket now. I'm about to go eat breakfast. <laughs> the only position a saint of God can take. If you straight Democrat, you're going to get played. Yeah, big time. If you straight Republican, you're going to get played. Yep. Uh, uh, Brian, didn't I have you look for some real estate? I'm going to trip you. In Maine, off the coast of Maine, he got two realtors fighting for my business. <laughs> I ain't spent a penny with him. One of them's first name is Davion, white guy. Yeah. What? And the other, the, the white girl, her name is Bailey. So oh. Davion Bailey, he, I ain't studying y'all. Wow, look at Davion. <laughs> Go ahead, Davion. <laughs> You saw a black cat cross through. You say, is that the one, Lord? <laughs> <laughs> That's deep. That is deep. Uh-huh. <laughs> but the reason why I was watching 60 Minutes and the, and the, and the guy who's over some small town. See, see here, here's where you're going to get caught. All white folk ain't prejudiced. That's right. If you looked at Black, black Lives Matter, who else can march and not worry about going to work in the morning? That's right. <laughs> I'm not, I don't care about y'all. Ain't gonna do nothing with me in this jacket. Come on, right. Bishop. Uh, uh, huh? Teach. And all black folk ain't right. That's right. Now I'll tell you that by my. I don't need no help with that. You deal with people according to their heart. They just as prejudiced. Zuri, when I bought that land in Nova Scotia, now the IRS told me it was an island, but you know I'll take their word for it. That family, because that land had been in the family. Since 19, I, mean, I told you about that. Since 1901, 1906. So they had to have all the heirs sign off on it. Man, now you know I'm the blackest thing within stupid a thousand miles. Those folks took me in their home, tried to make me a sandwich, which you know I don't eat everybody, you know, because it wasn't Tracy Marsh. So I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> I know how to eat around it. <laughs> Spit it up. You, you eat everything on your, on your, in front of you. I don't. 
<laughs> but I wasn't trying to be rude. But no, they treated me like, remember, I got to go back to the States. They can torture my land. They can whatever. They treated me, act like they were excited that I was buying it. This piece of property that had been in the family. What been in your family since 1900 besides sin? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what been in your family since 1901? Besides sin, diabetes, high blood, slave food, swallowing. Huh? Somebody bowels won't move now because they drinking Coke instead of water. Hey, man, a, a Coke ain't going to move your bowels. A Coke going to block your bowels. Yeah. Uh, 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 whatever. And pips. W w what's been in your family? I, my family since 1900. That's what I thought. Nothing. That's what y'all said. Nothing. Mm -hmm. But my point is those people treated me like <clears throat> I was a human being with integrity. Yes, Lord. I found out when I was in Mississippi and I was in the service. Devin. Man, I show up, man. I'm at I'm Keesler Air Force Base. And I had the audacity, the God and nerve, to show up at a white Pentecostal church driving a yellow Cadillac. Out and all the kids, <laughs> I, they came out and sit there in a line, look like a horror movie, and just <laughs> stared at me. No, stared at me. <laughs> no, I mean, and they weren't, they, I go in there, it's like I took all the air out the little church, and I see no woman just tell God how much she loved her. <laughs> he loved her, he loved me like this, I love him, oh my God, my Jesus. <laughs> and she turned beet red, I'm like, oh, she really loves God like that. <laughs> shake her hand. This is before A's and everything. She gave me the don't touch me. She gave me the MC hammer. You can't touch this. Like, what happened to her right here? I touch you. Oh, God. So I'm like, this place a trip. I go to go outside. I, yeah, I got a big yellow Cadillac right there, but they they sold Cadillacs to white folk. I don't know what the problem was. I, I came outside. They was all lined up to kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I ain't coming back here. <laughs> but guess what? Guess what? Kids. Like, forget this. I ran into a saint. Mm -hmm. This white lady came to me. Watch this. Now, I'm going to put it right because these of y'all ignorant and play ignorant. Uh -huh. Who had a young teenage daughter. Mm -hmm. So I had to be uh, 19. Was I 19 or 20? Let's see. Keesler Air Force Base. Yellow. Uh, I think I was 19. 19. 20. At Yellow Cadillac. The lady said... Brother Ron, with a teenage daughter, she said, all of us ain't like that. That's right. Would you please come back? Wow. Y'all hear what I said? Yeah. <laughs> and this was for Daydrian, and they wanted me to sing. So, Dadrian, I've been in concert long before you were born. Go ahead, Brother Ronnie. I don't know what happened. <laughs> but something happened. <laughs> Go <laughs> ahead. The joke. But something happened. Go ahead, huh? Brother Ronnie. Uh, another. <laughs> here's another one. All right, since you hating and you closer to me. And I believe you didn't have to say nothing. <laughs> she saw you. I didn't hear no amen. You say amen about everything else. <laughs> <laughs> tell on her. I'm going to tell on her. Yeah, Brother Ronnie. You used to put me on the phone and ask me to sing. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe, I believe on one occasion. <laughs> come on, mystery, hang in there with me. On one occasion, I think I hit that Teddy Pendergrass past the kidney stone falsetto, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't studying y'all. I bet if I go back, they'll say, Brother Ronnie, 
Yeah. <laughs> you still got it? <laughs> All right, now. I ain't studying you, Lexi Poo. <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, yeah, let me, let me warm up a little bit. <laughs> I ain't going to disappoint him. All right, now, Bishop. And I ain't breaking you with me. <laughs> <laughs> but that one lady, you know, I went home. God said, I got a saint everywhere. That's right. I didn't say religious person. Right. Some of y'all religious ain't worth a dime. Prejudiced as you want to be. Let your child try to mess him out of the way. Here you come. Now you want to be a black nationalist in case spell nationalist. <laughs> huh? I, I, no, I ain't studying y'all. I got my jacket on. You can't do nothing with me. <laughs> I go quarantine, shut the whole place down for about two weeks. <laughs> Amen. God said, I always got a saint somewhere. That's right. A saint. Yes, sir. A, a Crystal Simpson type saint. Yes. I always got a saint somewhere. Huh? So the only thing back to Maine is, is because I was watching 60 Minutes and that man said he was an independent, which means I work with whoever I want to work with. So I'm walking down the street of Chicago and say, that's the only position to take. I ain't, look, I ain't trying to get you to do what you want to do. Right. I'm talking about saints. Yes. So if the Democrats who already are off, according to some scripture, stay off, I ain't got to line up with them. Sure don't. Republican, I ain't got to line up with them. Mm -mm. I'm independent. Amen. Amen. I line up with whoever's heart is in alignment or synchronized, there's a word for you, with God. That's right. Uh, you know what? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm going to ping you sometime this month. <laughs> uh, uh, you know what? It's going to be a double ping. Write that down. It's going to be a double ping. That means after one ping, going to be another ping. <laughs> now you're like, he going to ping me? Mm -hmm. uh, yet, here's a, here's a key verse. I'm about done. Yet, they, they have, have not, not what? Prevailed against me. Anybody got that testimony? Mm -hmm. No, no play with me, huh? Anybody got that testimony that whatever came against me in 2020 did not prevail, huh? Anybody got the testimony? Amen. Uh, did, did nobody beg you to come to church? We we on Catholic hours. You could be sleeping in, but I owe God. Who in here owe God? I owe God. I gotta pay my vows in the presence of His people. Don't play with me. It did not prevail. Depression didn't prevail. Lust didn't prevail. We talking about stuff on the inside. Unbelief didn't prevail. I quit didn't prevail. What's the use didn't prevail. None of those things. Verse 3. Man, I act like I'm going to be here for a while. I'm not. The Verse plow, three, the plowers plowed upon my back. That, 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 that's beyond backstabbing. Yes. Some of y'all friend people backstab you. How do my business go out? <laughs> Guess. Mm -hmm. Huh? And they're going to start plowing when you, be go, when you go beyond their expectations. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll tell you that right now. Mm -hmm. uh, hey. That one child, I'm going to leave some other folk around. I ain't playing. <laughs> and ask Todd. I don't sit here up there woofing. If I'm talking about it, I already have it. I ain't looking at it. Ask Todd. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <He> says, okay. <laughs> All right. Baby. Ch -ch -ch mm. Anytime I make Cammy, who ain't no joke. Cammy told me, I was at the dealership in California, he said a Rolls Royce, a Wraith without that Starliner is like a Lambo without doors. He don't just gas me up because I'm his father. See, when it comes to my shoes, I don't listen to him, no, because his taste buds ain't there yet. <laughs> but when it comes to whips, so Cammy hit me up with, what's next for 2021? I'm like, mm, I'm going to surprise him too. I hit him back. He came back with a quadruple laughing face. He said, oh, you different. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and then he going to set up the scenario when I pull it out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> Go, Ken. <laughs> yeah, Bill Wilford. You know what? And don't, don't have no mind fight. Ain't got nothing to do with you. Uh-huh. Huh? Anytime I think that is too much, I can just turn a mirror and see the folk that plowed in my back. Wow. Y'all play too much. Yep, that's right. Huh? Yep. I, anytime I think, tell them, because ain't nobody did what you're trying to do, and then you got to call some. You can't call nobody. Ain't had their back plowed. Mm. I ain't studying y'all. Come on. You got to have somebody who yeah. plowed back been plowed. Come on now. To tell you to go forward. Yes, Lord. You, you got to have somebody who said, uh-uh, after all you've been through. Yeah. I had a front row seat to your suffering. Yeah. I had a front row seat. Amen. When you were openly for laid, amen. Ain't nothing too good for my sister pastor. Ain't nothing too good for Betty. Ain't nothing too good for Cynthia. Amen. And Deborah, who have lost KT. These people, amen, have sat there. Amen. With people with front row seats. You mean, man, ask Keith and Lisa how hot I was. All the love they done poured out. Mm-hmm. Y'all be glad it wasn't me. I would have died a long time ago. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> and you get mistreated by family members who ain't did nothing. Right. Huh? All right. The reason why God sent that millionaire to lay that house out is because of the plowing. Ooh, Lord, That's have right. Mercy. I'm going to help some of y'all. Huh? The plowing. And, and can I help some of y'all who have enough sense to know that somebody else could be in a season that you're not in yet, but you still going to defend them. So when somebody comes to you and try to ask you about it, you're going to say, uh-uh, you don't know. They were plowed. Amen. What you see is how deep. How deep they were plowed. Yes. He said they plowed in my back. Yes. Hmm? They made long mm-hmm. their furrows. So write this down. This ain't heavy. I'm about done. I'm getting hungry. Uh, my scars won't allow me to live beneath my privilege. Oh, that's good. That's good. It has nothing to do with you mm-hmm. unless you help plow. Right. Now, if you were secretly plowing, it's for you. Is for you to stay here and report to the other plowers. <laughs> Come on, folk. I've been doing this half my life. If I say I'm about to be blessed and your voice change, I know I'm talking to you. That's how good I am. No, I am. I'm that good. I'm that good. I'm that good. Huh? Be blessed. But you want to see the, the, the man. How deep they plowed into my life. Yes. How deep they plowed into my emotion. Mm-hmm. How deep they told me that God didn't call nobody to help no crips and blood. How deep, even some of the people that got on my pay, it's like, how in the world? How in the world did you survive what we did? Wow. How are you so free? Man. If folk trying to find out the podcast, I told my cousin, my cousin, she's big money. She not a good cousin, not the one on food with no more. Uh, mm, the sixty-something-year-old whore. I don't fool with her. <laughs> yeah, whore. W h o r e. Short version is ho ho. <laughs> I don't fool with her. The good one, who's a hospital administrator. I think they make what quarter million dollars. Yeah, something like that. That one. She's like, oh, how can I hear you? I didn't even know I was a year. Old. I, I didn't know she was a year older than me. I always thought she was older than me, older than me. Huh? Who became a hospital administrator even though her mother battled al- alcoholism. We, we watched her. We dropped her one time and watched her mother jump on her. It could just, out, just, huh? I, that's my family. And she didn't use it for an excuse. She's a hospital administrator. She made sure my mother got the best care in her hospital because she go over everybody. She said, well, how can we I watch you? Now, no, have you noticed I don't go live? By the time they come on today, I don't watch the game. 
had a meal, took a nap. Right. <laughs> Have you noticed I never put scriptures on there trying to do this and that and huh? we come this and then you give a cash app. <laughs> Y'all my cash app. We're going we gonna to cash app in about 10 minutes and that's it. I ain't never going to be begging or nothing. You don't have to when you've been plowed. You don't have to. I ain't going to win it. When I'm, mm, Bishop Jeremiah Reese said, if you're anointed, you can be in a field. That bothers him. He don't sell no dinners. He don't have no daycare. He don't have nothing. But look how I live. Oh, you look at that being plowed. Amen. And God said, my word won't be turning me void. You, know, you just speak out of how you've been plowed into. Do you think I studied for this this week? No, I woke up at 146 this morning. Read two verses. I said, you got the rest of it. Why? Because you've been plowed into. If I take the jacket off, you see what people plowed into my reputation. If I ain't careful. Yes, sir. sir. (laughs) My scars. Mm-hmm. Will make me have a bad attitude. Uh, I had my wife laughing. Somebody put on my post grace. Uh, if they listen, well, I'm talking about you, so hey. <laughs> when they saw how I roll, all of a sudden they uncle this and aunt this. <laughs> but in that picture, Candace had blow up. They was much older than me, and I was sitting on the front row. I was just a teenager. But what a difference a day makes. Now, let me change that. What a difference a plow makes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 let me help y'all before I go eat. I don't even listen to people ain't been plowed through. Because they got another agenda. You ain't been plowed? I mean, I tell you unless you ask me. Yeah, well, like, no, you ain't deep. Huh? You did everything you could to avoid being plowed too. Watch this. And some of us did too, but God plowed anyway. Right. That's why you can't say the same thing I can say and some other people in here. Because you, you, you did everything you could. I'm on something now. That's why your family don't respect you. Come on, teach. Because anytime you go against what plowed in your back, you don't stand for nothing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. How many of y'all been through something that ain't no way in the world you're going to go against the thing that caused you the most pain? That's right. I'm on something now. Yeah. I've been plowed through too deep to gas you up. Come on, Bishop. You tripping. Ask my family. <laughs> and at 65, I still can't wrap my mind around it. Uh-huh. If I didn't fool with you at 64, you could. <laughs> you no, no. Hey, no, we on the clock now. Uh, but guess what? You younger and you on the clock too. Right. You better realize it. Oh, yeah. Oh, heck no. <laughs> the plow. That's deep, y'all. I'm going to back yes, up with that. Mm-hmm. He said, the plow words. Uh oh, plural. Mm-hmm. Plow ain't, no more, ain't no one person plow. Right. You ain't deep. Mm-hmm. You got to have plow words. Yes. Plowed upon my back. They made. They made. They look did. at it. Yep. They, long their furrows their furrow mm-hmm. in other words they weren't just satisfied they, did, Lana, yeah. with, uh, they had to go all the way down yes your childhood when you told Chris about your childhood you didn't tell him everything huh you tell your sons about your childhood yes now you get to see spirits try to jump on them because they have no dad to stop it. You got it by yourself. But guess what? The the You've been plowed so deep, you got it. That's right. You ain't got to get a boyfriend and go That's get right. it. That's right. You'd have been plowed. I bet. Come on now. You've been plowed in so deep, you got it. You got it. You got it. They don't it. know it, but you've been through enough. They can tell you yeah. everything. They yeah. can tell you Come you on, ain't going to blink. You ain't going to cry. You've been homeless. You had nowhere to go. Amen. Oh, you've been plowed through. Don't use me try to finish this. Uh-huh. I want everybody who remembers being plowed. Come on, come on. Coco, that man 
try to get me to destroy you. No! I'm going to teach you how to handle beauty. And amen, you don't have to be in a center of tension. Amen. And say try to kill it three times. Amen. But Jackson had to come. Amen. You was going to get it together. Amen. That was a church theme song in your voice that we had to listen to. Somebody tried to get me to plow. Who in here people try to recruit you to plow with somebody, but you refuse to plow? If I had listened to him with his jealous self, it would have been no Jackson. That's right. Huh? Now, see, you've been recruited. I know something, man. If I told you what I knew, man, I'd still be hitting my phone. Uh-huh. Half the city relate to each other. <laughs> Plowers. Hmm? Oh, here's one for you in case you get amnesia. You still go there? No. Which is a chance for you to plow. <laughs> I don't know how much longer I do. You you done today. <laughs> let me, let me I, I answer that one for you. Hey, man, let that be my Jeopardy question. <laughs> let that be my Jeopardy question. I'm going into double Jeopardy. That's right. That's right. <laughs> huh? That, that, somebody wants to see if you're going to plow. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it got quiet on yeah. that. Yeah. Man, I ain't, even, I, ain't, I ain't even pinged you yet. I'm going to ping you. I'm real serious about the atmosphere of love in here. Amen. Uh, you know what? While I'm on the subject, and you ain't got to sit there and battle somebody for my attention or affection. I got room for everybody. All Amen. Right. Everybody take their turn. I get around to you. Amen. Ain't no struggle over here. Amen, huh? Are y'all really? You know what? Yeah. Yes, you are. Ask my sons. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's Ask right. my sons. That's right. Start with the oldest. You ever think how he feels? Room for each one of them. I'm so glad they ain't against each other trying to see who can, you know. They all got their own different personalities. Yep. Amen. Uh-huh. I deal with the oldest first. I'm teaching her. Because he, he the one. People talking about his daddy. And then there's Jane who's different. Amen. Who's one of the first to call me. Happy birthday. His birthday coming up. Uh, who makes sure that Vivian, he know the circumstance. Yeah, I, you know, you don't hold me hostage. I try to tell you, I'm really Martin Luther King free. You still got on slave clothes talking about you free. No, I'm so free, man. Man, it was, I'm so free. People in Chicago were stopping me, telling me different stuff. I'm like, I, just, I know, I ain't, I ain't COVID or not. You don't see no chains on me. Everywhere I went, <laughs> somebody had something complimentary today. I ain't no chains on me. <laughs> Period. I don't care what city I'm in. Ain't no change. See? But 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 he he makes sure Vivian know about Papa. Elo sent me a thing. Uh, she got a little CJ. Time my happy birthday. And then there's Zoe. Mm -hmm. uh, Zoe thinks she's wealthy. <laughs> I'll take some blame for that. But uh, 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 Zoe, she thinks she's wealthy. She sent me a long Christmas list. <laughs> now it's long. <laughs> hey, you know. But I thank God that I didn't make them all vie for my attention. I asked more. I got daughters now who, because they couldn't be the only one. Yeah. They're the ones who Wait. became plowers. Crazy. Freak to the crazy. point, Raphael said, come on, daddy, if you wanted to, he know I don't, you can stop to, all you got to do 
and call her, and she'll stop. Nah. She done filled up my garage. She's like, keep plowing, love. All right, I'm going to ping you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to ping you in less than a week. Woo. Get your little heart ready. <laughs> Come on with it. <laughs> Get your little heart ready. And I want you to practice and act like you happy. <laughs> Is that cold? You're going to need some practice. Practice? Oh, I already know I'm going to get them. Anytime Cammy talk about, oh, you different. <laughs> hey, you can't do nothing about it. <laughs> That's right. Come on with it. Hey, man, Double. I can stop it right now. But see, Brian, that song, the first cut's the deepest. That first cut in your back. Oh. Oh, you see, some of y'all ain't been cut Catch before. Catch you off guard, don't you? Ooh, that, that, that first cut. Yes. Ooh, you did that? Remember when it had problems and the pastor thought? I said, I said, man, that beat chain is, thank me for that. Uh, the pastor said, well, well, listen to the cassette. You know what I'm talking about, Lachelle? Listen to the cassette. He thought he was so good. He thought he was so Jim Jones up that I could listen to his exact words and come up with his opinion. So I, I said, well, let me listen to the cassette then. To trust somebody and to find out they lied to you. Come on, man. You know what Trump's problem is? One of those fools going to figure out he lied. That man is sick, people. This grand send-off. Very sick. He's a sick man. Yeah, yeah. Ask anybody in the mental health field. And they got to go get an extra book to diagnose him. I would care if he were black, pitch black. He's wrong. Well, some of those folks, when they find out the truth, I listen to the cassette. It's hard to explain it. I'm like, it's like somebody cut this part out. And I literally sat down. I was in the basement. I played it over and over. And here's something I believe. I, I, even when he rebuked me, I hand washed this cat like while he sat in the front door and watched me. I hand wash. That's when cat were big. And he watched me. And it wasn't until I got some birthdays. Why did he try to destroy me? Because he wanted me to hold him accountable. I didn't get that. Like, what are you? Was Glenda? Remember, you couldn't even come out the tarrying room. That's the place we used to go get the Holy Ghost. If I didn't, I came out. If I said three, it could have been eight people in there. That means only three got filled. To one time, Mother Foster, somebody got refilled, and he was on the phone. He said, if Barlow said they filled, they filled. That was a ask. Here's my witness right here. If I came out and went four, I had to say nothing. People start shouting. I mean, four people got filled with the Holy Ghost. And that, I had to go through that plow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, there, there, there are men out in the street who respect me, Bo, just because of your wife's views. They say if you can pass the, one of them put, Snook put on Facebook, he the realest of the real. You know, for Snook, <laughs> Uh, Snook, Snook, Snook about to kill somebody in this vestibule, uh, but he didn't. <laughs> That's how deep I go back. But I got respect just because I could pastor your wife's beauty. Uh, just, just off of that. <laughs> but that first cut, ooh, man. One time Mother Allen said, because she's from the streets, she, she respect me because she for real street street. I got her out of the way. Somebody, the people married today because I got Mother Allen out the way. Because after you ran through what I ran through in San Antonio, what's a Mother Allen? She just a street version of what I've already seen in church. Well, y'all don't understand how deep my plow is <laughs> until I turn around and show you. Right. <laughs> Come and, on until now. then, I'm about jokes and fashion, ask Lisa. Jokes, fashion, style, living best, boo, boo, boo. Until you touch my scar. Man, I, mean, I ain't going nowhere Come with this. On. You touch my scar, man. I can't. I can't think nothing of you. All I remember is you digging. It wasn't even you. It's people that was digging and digging. 
and they didn't make scratches, Tisha. Don't the Bible say long furrows? Furrows. Yes. That's why Candace respect me, Dre. She found out that scar was deep. Mm -hmm. She ain't trying to play me against her daddy. That's her, huh? Is that his scars is deeper than yours. Mm -hmm. That's all. I just be laughing. Me and her be laughing about that stuff. She be messing folk up. Huh? Uh -huh. He had a chance to walk her down the aisle. And didn't do it. A number. So I put on a bad suit, y'all. I don't need y'all to help me. Yeah, you that's did. That's a bad suit. That's a bad suit. All the way. Let me help dress some of y'all in a minute. Pinstripe, white shirt, black tie, and then the shoes down to the, the, the shoes, custom shoes that matched her dress. So you go. Like it was my daughter. See, if my plow wasn't deep, I'd have been, no, nah, I don't know what they're going to say. They've been talking. I'm going to give them something to talk about. My plow, my, 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 mm, my scar is deeper than their opinion. Write that down. My scar is deeper than their opinion. Some of y'all got me twisted. You act like I got scratched. You, you got me twisted. I ain't got scratched. Oh, you got to be kidding. I ain't get scratched. <laughs> I watched Tramon. <laughs> I had people, had people, people, I ain't take too much. I watched Tramon income blow up. I watched, man, some of y'all, man, the stuff. If people only knew <laughs> what's in this church. <laughs> they only knew what God is doing for people. Amen. Put this way, the broke folk getting broker. <laughs> there's a word. And other people who were broke ain't broke no more. <laughs> All they got to listen to is, amen, my scars talk to them. My scar will say, what, my scar will tell you, one of us going to change. And it ain't, ain't going to be me. <laughs> my scars won't let me be in agreement with you. Now, if I got scratched, mm -hmm. if I got scratched, some of y'all wouldn't have the blessings that you have. I'm going to say it myself. If I got scratched, That's, hey, yeah. man, if I got scratched, yeah. Come on. if I got scratched, Danielle, your husband was, would have took that moonwalked. After already took 80,000 with a moonwalk, thought he had him hemmed up. He got three kids, whatever. Uh, moonwalked and would be, he would be at Walmart today in that back room, unloading the truck for November. But my scratch, uh, I didn't get scratched though. Huh? But that scar wouldn't let him. That's right. All right. Come on, you teach. If I got scratched, some y'all be booed up. Yes. But yes. my scar got you lonely waiting on a man of God. <laughs> huh? That candid, I don't, I'm going to talk about it as long as I want to. Keep if I tell her to do something, she's going to do it. Yeah. Follow me as I follow Christ. Don't get that twisted because some of y'all got smoked a lot of weed, get everything twisted. <laughs> huh? <laughs> But my scar, write this down, man, I got you. My scar, it's, it, you know what rebukes you? It ain't me, it's my scar. Oh, okay. It's that deep plow in my back that reminds me that I must tell you the truth. How about that? Ain't no scratch. See, when you scratch, then you, you, you try to line your counsel mouth with people's feelings. Because you only got scratched. But when you wait them plowed into you, you remember the pain. That first cut is Come the on deepest. Now. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I help you? And we won't even talk about the self-inflicted wounds. Where you plowed into you. Oh, come on. Wow. Man. I'm yes, gonna quit. Sir. 
Huh? Oh, really? Your yes. feelings ain't plowed into you? You lying. Suicide. Your emotions ain't plowed into you? Mm-hmm. Your own mind ain't plowed into you? Come on. Uh, if you great, you great in spite of, amen, what was self-inflicted and what people did. Amen. Huh? So when we say plower, you can add yourself to your own list. Like your feelings ain't plowed into you. All right. Like the stuff you ain't told yourself ain't plowed into you. That's right. Like your mind hasn't plowed into you. That's suicidal thing. Yes. Come on, Bishop. Teach. Anytime you're in Montreal overlooking the St. Lawrence River on the 18th floor and there's a window and Satan said, why don't you jump? Because if God really loved you, he wouldn't have did what he did to you. I ain't studying y'all. I said 18th floor. So I would stay up all night, make a sandwich, and say if I put, I'd put on uh, Hymns in the Garden by Kirk Whalen, have it on repeat. And I said, right in front, I said, if I wake up and see the sun, I know God's with me. I used to have picnics in my front room. Huh? I guarantee you, whoever living there right now, I feel a quickening spirit. Because I had too many picnics in that room. Amen. I bet they don't understand why when they go to that corner of the condo, something is around there. Because those prayers I put, amen, are still there. Huh? Because the enemy tried to make sure. Okay, hold up. Somebody like, okay, how in the world you going to have a condo out of the country on the 18th floor and you have a mind fight? You figure it out one day. Plowers don't care where you at. The plowers. Huh? Your mind this year is going to try to get you to leave God. This year. Every head bow. Wow. I should have been gone, but I shouldn't. I bet you look at scars differently now. (laughs) Pray, KT. Wow. Ain't studied a thing. (laughs) Oh, plowers. If you come back, amen, whenever you come back, it sounds only like Eight verses, I think. Y'all hear the pen of, ooh, man. See, the plowers automatically are penalized when you go forward. So even if you say you ain't going to do it, but you do, the plowers have to reap that. To the point where he says uh, that, 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 Thomas, that thing of the unrighteous, he cutting at himself. So the plowers who are not successful, get cut off by God. Yeah, just think about that before you decide to be a plower. You got to be successful. Don't pull nobody out of church. You might pull yourself out the world. (laughs) He's going to cut them off. He's going to cut them off. That's the rest of that. I'll deal with that sometime next week. If I show up, all right. Every head bow, pray, KT. Precious Lord, Father and Savior in heaven, Lord, we thank you for a word once again, a personal word from the man of God, from you, Father, through the man of God, to remind each and every one of us that it was scars that brought us to the sanctuary. I don't believe there's one of us in here right now The bishop is an example before us, but there ain't one of us in here right now didn't walk in here scarred. And Lord, we thank you, man of God reminding us that scars should not allow us to live beneath our privilege. If you're truly our strength in the time of trouble, And scars was a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. Lord, we thank you because he also reminded us 
about the self-plowed suicide that we all almost ran into. Wrong choices, wrong relationships, we all did it. We all did it. Until you entered in our heart and our soul. It was your word that blessed us, Father. Hallelujah. It was your word that made us into who we are today. It was your Holy Ghost, Father. Hallelujah. That strengthened us. So, Lord, we thank you. That in this sanctuary where there's always help, even the man of God who's been scarred deeply is yet able to still bring us a word, still care about us here in the sanctuary, Father. Could have been gone, still celebrating his birthday. And he's here reminding us what you've done for us, Father. Hallelujah. And our scars, Father. And we can't forget, we can't forget, but we thank you, Father, that just like the man of God, we've been plowed deeply into some great harvest, Father. Hallelujah. We thank you for the harvest that's coming because of the scars. Hallelujah. We believe it and receive it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.